Hello students, welcome to the video lecture series of Artificial Intelligence. Today we are going to start with the last heuristic search technique that is means and analysis. I am your instructor Bumin Mandalia for this video lecture series of Artificial Intelligence. Okay, so let us understand the today's session, the outline that means the topic we are going to cover up that first is means and analysis, second is operator table for that means and analysis technique, next is the uh, difference table for mean sense analysis and last is the algorithm for this heuristic search technique. So see let us understand first of all that what is the meaning of mean sense analysis. So in mean sense analysis we are going to have the backward as well as forward searching technique that means according to problem we can also execute backward or forward, uh, uh, forward searching technique. That means we can move from initial state to goal state or from goal state to initial state. So the basic principle for this mean and analysis that it identifies the difference between current state and goal state. So by the difference between current state and goal state we are having one table. That table is called as difference table. So according to that difference we are going to execute one particular operator. So which operator should be selected that will be based on the difference between current state and goal state. That means see for example let's say if I want to move from one room to another room. Okay. So we will execute one operator that is walk operator. Okay. So what will be the difference between the current state and goal state. The current state that I am here. The goal state that I should be in the next room or we can say the other room. So the difference between current state and goal state that will be executed by one operator and that operator will be selected on the basis of current state and goal state difference. Right. So it employs the divide and conquer approach if matching operator is not found. So for example let's say if the process is somewhat lengthy. So that lengthy process will be carried out by the difference table. So if the exit matching operator is not available with me. So then we are going to execute the mean sense analysis by divide and conquer approach. So that means I will be able to find, I will try to find the matching operator by dividing my entire problem. So once I am going to divide that entire problem, I will be able to find the matching operator. Right. So two tables will be used for this means and analysis. First table is operator table and second is difference table. So these two tables will be employed in this means and analysis. Operator table is going to list out my all the operators to carry out one process or we can say to uh, go to move from initial state to goal state and difference table is going to denote that how much far my goal state is. And for that to achieve that goal state, which operators I should apply. Okay. So see this selection list of operators from difference table was not available till now in any heuristic search method. Okay. So let us understand the operator table first of all. See in operator table we are having several number of operators for moving the robot and to carry out the robot to make robot perform one task. Okay. So we are going to understand that how robot will be able to perform that task. Okay. So see uh, operator precondition and results are there. Let's say push object comma location is that that is the first operator push object comma location. That means I want to move object from one place to another place let's say from one room to another room by pushing it. Okay. So let's say why pushing is required. See pushing is required only and only if object is somewhat heavier. Okay. If object is heavy than the other heavier than the other object or we can say object is too much heavy then we will not be able to carry that object. So that is why push operation is required. So at of robot comma ob object and large of object and clear of object and arm empty all these will be termed as my preconditions so object for example robot should be at that object then and only then it will be able to push 
नेक्स्ट रॉबर्ट विल बी सॉरी ऑब्जेक्ट विल बी लार्ज दैट इज वाई पुशिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड अदरवाइज वी विल बी इजिली एबल टू कैरी दैट नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्लियर दैट मीन्स ऑब्जेक्ट इज नॉट हैविंग एनी अनदर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस ऑब्जेक्ट आई वॉन्ट टू पुश ओके एंड इट इज हैविंग दिस ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट सो पुशिंग विल नॉट बी पॉसिबल बिकॉज दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इज नॉट क्लियर ओके and result will be what that robert will be on that location and object will also be on that location that means object will be in the other room and robert will also be in the other room so likewise the operators we have listed out okay next is carry object comma location carrying is possible is of if object is light in weight okay that means robert should be at that object and object should be small then and only we can say carry is possible so after result we can have object on that particular location and robert should also be on that location next walk of comma location that means robert want to walk okay so the precondition is not anything and robert will reach at that location if it will walk next pick up of object okay so pick up that means robert should be at that location and after pick up operation robert will have that particular thing in its hand okay for example i want to pick up this block so that block will be in my hand after executing this operation right next is put down of object so after putting down my object will be put down on some location and after putting down my hand will be empty so i will not hold anything in my hand so that is why not holding of object that is result the last operator is place of object 1 comma object 2 place that means i am having one object and on that object i want to put the another object so that is called as place operation okay so at of robert comma object 2 and holding of object 1 so after result we will have object 1 on object 2 okay so object 1 will be on object 2 after this uh, place operation so pick up that means to pick the block put down that means the to put the block down on the ground and place that means to put one object on the another object so these operators we have studied to make work regarding to robert movement okay now see the difference table that means how we will be able to execute this entire process so see for example if i want to move the object then which type of operations i will be able to carry okay so push and carry two operations can be possible if i want to move the object from one place to another place now to move the object from one place to another place those three conditions that we had studied in previous table must be satisfied okay so star that means these two operations are required so if these two operations are not uh, are not there to be performed then we must execute the precondition regarding to that next is move robert so for moving robert we can have the walk operator so see this difference table denotes that move robert and walk is how much sorry move robert is how much far from the current state and which operator i need to apply if i want to handle this move robert operator okay now clear object now clear object is my goal state so for clear object which operation i need to perform that operation is denoted here so from operator table i am going to handle i am going to manage pick up operation right next is get object on object so if i want to place this object on the another object then which operator is there so that is place operator okay so for all the actions whichever operators should be applied those operators are listed here okay and all those operations their preconditions their results were shown in previous table okay next is get arm empty get am empty that means i should not have anything in my arm robert should not have anything in its arm so that is put down operation or place operation after that arm will be empty last is be holding object that means robert should have anything something in its hand that means pick up operation then and only then it will be the be holding object getting my point or not so 
for this particular action how much far my goal state, state is there and how I will be able to reach to that goal state using these operators are shown in this difference table. Getting my point or not? So that is why it is called as means ends analysis that means the operation is performed using the uh, by using the forward reasoning or backward reasoning. Okay, it depends on the operation, it depends on the problem that whether the person should execute uh, forward or backward reasoning. Right? Now, see the algorithm that we are going to begin with. The first is till the goal state is reached or no more procedure are available. That means the process will be carried out till the goal state is reached or no more operators are available. Right? Now, in this step, describe the current state. That means we are going to describe the current state, the goal state and the difference between the two. That means we are going to describe the current state, goal state and the difference between them. Okay, current state, that means my uh, right now on the position which, on which I am there. Okay, goal state, that means I want to move object, I want to place the this block to another, on the another block. I want to go to one room to another room. I want to uh, carry this particular object to the other room. That is my goal state. So on basis of that goal state, operator will be selected from difference table. So use the difference state, difference between current state and goal state and select the promising procedure. Getting my point or not? So if I want to carry this object to the other room, so for that carry operator will be selected. So that according to that difference, the number of operations will be selected. Okay. So difference table is employed by this means and analysis technique. Okay. And last is use promising procedure and update the current state. So once I have moved from one room to another room, so location will differ. That means location has been changed. So all that terms will be denoted according to these result column of operator table. So operator table and difference table, both the tables will, very, will be very much useful for this terminology. Okay. So for this algorithm, we are going to handle two tables, operator table and difference table. Okay. So if goal is reached, announce success, otherwise announce a failure. So according to goal, if we have reached to the final state, then I will declare the success otherwise it will result into failure getting my point or not so this is the algorithm for means and analysis that how we will be able to execute the entire process right so thank you for paying your attention thank you students